limit theorems. First, we have the limit of a constant is the constant itself. So let's say we are asked to get the limit of 4 as x approaches 2. 4 is a constant, so the limit of this is 4. Let's say the limit of 10 as x approaches negative 7. The answer here is 10. The limit of 2.15 as x approaches 5 is 2.15. The limit of x as x approaches c is equal to c. So as you can see, this is just straight substitution to our variable x. So if we are asked to get the limit of x as x approaches 2, that is equal to 2. This would be negative 7 and this would be 5. Another would be constant multiple theorem. Let's say we have the limit of k times f of x as x approaches c can also be expressed as k times the limit of f of x as x approaches c. For example, we have the limit of 5x as x approaches 2. So we can write this as 5 times the limit of x as x approaches 2. If we continue to evaluate this, we can have, based from our previous theorem, we can say that the limit of x as x approaches 2 is 2. So we can have 5 times 2. Therefore, this is equal to 10. Another example, the limit of 3x as x approaches negative 4. We can write this as 3 times the limit of x as x approaches negative 4. Convenient evaluating this, we have 3 times negative 4, and we have the limit of 3x as x approaches negative 4 is equal to negative 12. The next is addition theorem. If we have the limit of f of x plus or minus g of x as x approaches c, we can write this as the limit of f of x as x approaches c plus or minus the limit of g of x as x approaches c. For example, we have the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 2. So this can be written as the limit of x as x approaches 2 plus the limit of 2 as x approaches 2. To evaluate, we can have the limit of x as x approaches 2 is 2, and the limit of 2 is a constant, and therefore that is also 2. So we have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Another example, we have the limit of 2x minus 1 as x approaches 3. So for this term, we have the constant multiple theorem, so this can be written as 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 3 minus the limit of 1 as x approaches 3. So we can have 2 times the limit of x, and this would be 3 minus the limit of a constant is 1. So we have 2 times 3 minus 1, so we have 5. For the multiplication theorem, if we have the limit of the product of f of x and g of x as x approaches c, this can be written as the limit of f of x as x approaches c times the limit of g of x as x approaches c. For example, we have the limit of x plus 2 times x minus 3 as x approaches 2. So we can write this as the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 2 and the limit of x minus 3 as x approaches 2. Applying other theorems, we can have this as the limit of x as x approaches 2 plus the limit of 2 as x approaches 2. Same with this factor, we have the limit of x as x approaches 2 minus the limit of 3 as x approaches 2. To evaluate, we can have this as 2 plus the limit of 2 is itself times, this would be 2 minus 3. Simplifying, we have 4 times negative 1 and we have negative 4. 
another example. Let's say we have the limit of the product of x and x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So we can write this as the limit of x as x approaches negative 1 times the limit of x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. This factor can be written as the limit of x as x approaches negative 1 plus the limit of 1 as x approaches negative 1. To evaluate, this would be negative 1. Same here as negative 1 and the limit of 1 is 1. Simplifying negative 1 plus 1 is 0 times negative 1 would give us 0. For the division theorem, we have the limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches c. So we can have this as the limit of f of x as x approaches c over the limit of g of x as x approaches c. For example, we have the limit of 2 over x as x approaches 2. So we can have this as the limit of 2 as x approaches 2 over the limit of x as x approaches 2. To evaluate, we can have this as 2, because this is the limit of a constant, over the limit of x as x approaches 2 is 2. To simplify, we have this as 1. Another example, the limit of 2x over 3 as x approaches negative 6. So this can be written as 2 times the limit of x as x approaches negative 6 over the limit of 3 as x approaches negative 6. To evaluate, we have the limit of x as x approaches negative 6 is negative 6. The limit of 3, which is a constant, is 3. Simplifying, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 over 3 is negative 4. For the power theorem, example, let's say we have the limit of x squared as x approaches 2. So we can write this as the squared quantity of the limit of x as x approaches 2. So we have the limit of x as x approaches 2 is 2. And then squaring it, this would be 4. Another example, the limit of 2x raised to 4 as x approaches 3. The constant multiple theorem, this would be 2 times, and then power theorem, fourth power of the limit of x as x approaches 3. To evaluate, this would be the limit of x as x approaches 3 is 3 raised to 4, that is 81, times 2 is 162. For radical theorem, Let's say we have the limit of the square root of x as x approaches 4. Following this theorem, we can have the square root of the limit of x as x approaches 4. To evaluate, the limit of x as x approaches 4 is 4, taking the square root of it as 2. Let's say we have 4 times the cube root of x as x approaches 8. We have 4 times the limit of the cube root of x as x approaches 8. Evaluating this, x would be 8, and getting the cube root of 8, that would be 2, times 4, and that would be 8.